and welcome to 15th Century Spinning. Today I will be talking about the three main styles of spinning. That is suspended, supported and grasped. Now, yes, three. A lot of times you hear people say there are two types of spinning, suspended and supported. I don't know why grasped is missed out. It's, it's overlooked. Um, modern grasp spinners, they learn the techniques learned in the Americas. They learn more exotic techniques. Grasped spinning is, maybe it's not American enough or exotic enough to have gained interest. Uh, but people often just don't know that it exists. So, yep, there's three. And the difference between them is not a lot, really. Um, if I had my way, we would not describe the three types of spinning based on whether the spindle is supported from above, below, or, or just by the thread. You can spin exactly the same with all methods. I, I demonstrate. I'll throw a half hitch on my spindle. Um, here's me spinning grasped. The spindle stays in my hand. Here's me spinning suspended. And I probably better get a bit of a longer thread on here because I'm using my distaff. But here's me suspended. It's exactly the same technique. I'm still drafting here. I'm still spinning here. I'm just letting go of the spindle. Um, and here's, you probably can't quite see out of the picture, but I'm just resting my spindle on a little cap on my couch. And here's me spinning supported. Still, well, I'm not drafting up here anymore because I've got so much, so much twist in my thread. Um, but there's, there's no real discernible difference there in the in the technique. It's 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 the same, and that's that's why I say, well, if I had my way, I wouldn't call them grasped, you know, suspended and supported. It describes, you know. How you're hanging the spindle but it's not really necessarily a difference in technique. Um, if I had my way I'd be talking about the style of drafting and the style of spin. Like this is this is distaff drafting. It's when you have a distaff and you're pulling away your your, your thread from your fiber just using one hand. It's one-handed drafting. The spinning I'm using is it's a short fast spin. It's a nice fine tip, um, and I'm putting you know quite a fast spin in there, but it doesn't take long to get that fast spin in. Compare that to your classic drop spindle spinning, um, such as is done by a lot of modern crafters. That is a suspended type of spinning, but it's very different to the suspended type of spinning I do. What you see with that is most commonly a beautiful long spin, often it's slow, it might be fast, but it usually is a, a longer spin, enabling them to take their hand away from their spindle to draft out their fibre. So you see them doing the two-handed drafting. Um, this is where, let me throw a half hitch on my spindle and pull off some fluff. This is where you see this style of spinning. Um, and it's great when you have to stop drafting, you put you know, when you have to spin your spindle again, you have to stop drafting, spin your spindle, and come back up here and draft out. Um, and especially as a beginner, which I am with this sort of spinning, um, I'd love to have a beautiful long spindle, because a long spinning spindle, because you don't have to do this so often. Um, with the method I use, I don't have to stop spinning to draft, I just keep going. Um, but the difference there isn't that the spindle is suspended, because I was doing suspended spinning just before. Um, I can do it off the gist stuff in a more vertical method if I wanted to, like that. It's a difference in the drafting. So, so quite often you will hear me say, I don't do drop spindle spinning. When I say drop spindle spinning, what I'm talking about is what everyone is talking about when they do drop spindle spinning. It's that, that technique you see of, of the vertical method, the, 
the two hands drafting. I'm not saying I don't suspend my spindle, I suspend it. Um, sometimes I support my spindle. There's um, not that much evidence of supported spinning in the Middle Ages. There's a little bit. Um, sometimes when my spindle gets really long, I draft it out. Sorry, when my thread gets really long, I draft it out grasped. I drop it suspended and I rest it on the ground and spin it supported all in one motion. Um, and when your spindle gets heavy, spinning um, supported is, is nice because you're not, you know, hanging that great big weight off. Um, and you can spin a little bit longer without having to change out your spindle. Um, so, yes, yeah, so suspended spinning in the Middle Ages, definitely it's something you can do. Um, it's something I do. Um, maybe not as much as the more grasped or the the semi-grasped, semi, um, semi-suspended technique. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking when I, I let my spindle suspend between grasped spins. So it's grasped, suspended, grasped, suspended, grasped, suspended. And it's just that fraction. There's no knot or anything there. And I've just taken it from my distaff, so I'm just spinning here. Um, there's no knot. Lovely spiral groove on this one helps with that, but you don't need it. Um... And that's, that's how I spin, and yep, you know, definitely suspend your spindle, but 15th century, we should not be using drop spindle techniques. There's no evidence for it, and stacks of evidence for this, this distaff and spindle. So there's my little bit of a, of a rant on the, the three spinning types. Um... You know, if you have any, any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them below, pop to my blog, or pop to my Facebook page. Thanks for joining.